Hello, welcome to another video from PyPad Mathematics. I am Professor Lamb, and this app is called Number Rods by Braining Camp. And the app itself models the or utilizes the Cuisinaire rods, which are one centimeter all the way up to ten centimeter rods of different colors. And you can explore various things. In this video, what we're going to do is we're going to explore the construction of concrete models of fractions to where we are going to show how Cuisinaire rods can model uh, fractions in various, various ways. And uh, with fractions, and the number one concept whenever you're teaching fractions is to define the whole. You cannot understand, you cannot model, you cannot explain a fraction unless you know what the whole is. You cannot talk about the fraction of participants on, in a study. You cannot talk about the fraction of a dollar. You cannot talk about the fraction of anything unless you know what that whole is, what one is. And so with this, we could start by saying our orange rod equals one. So if I say the orange rod equals one, then in essence what we're doing is we are establishing our whole. The orange is the whole. So now all the other rods that we are going to explore here are going to be with relationship or the, their values will be in relationship to that orange rod because we defined it as one. And we can bring our white rod out or it's tan and some kind of handheld black, um, uh, sorry, Cuisinaire rod sets. But our white rod, because 10 of these, and we can see that 10 of these when we go to our square grid, we can see that 10 of these go into the orange rod. If you notice, we can count 1, 2, 3, let me write that, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. The orange is of length 10. So when we bring our white rod out, we know that the white rod, because 10 of them will fit into the hole or make the hole, then one is going to equal one tenth of that whole. And we can do the same thing for something like our green rod, or some call it the dark green rod because we have a light green rod over here. So if we have our dark green rod, we want to find out what is its value, what is its fraction of the whole, or what value does it have when the orange equals one or is the whole. Well, we can do, we can't take two of these wonderful green rods to make up the whole. Because you can't take a whole number of these rods to make up your whole, we therefore have to break this rod down into smaller components that we do know the value of. And that smaller component is going to be this white rod, which is the one-tenth. And we find out how many of these go into our dark green rod. Now, I know because of experience that it takes six, but students can explore that by bringing in the white rods and putting them on top of your dark green rod to find out how many fit in there. Or we can use our square grid, and when it clicks in, we can see that there's one, two, three, four, five, six white rods that that make up your dark green rod. And so when we go to our, well, once this starts working, uh oh, oh, I gotta take the pen off. No grid. Now our dark green rod is gonna equal six tenths. So our dark green rod equals six tenths. And then our black rod, it's going to be seven tenths. And our brown rod is going to be eight tenths. And our blue rod is going to be nine tenths. So we can do this and break it down into tenths. Well, another thing that we could do is we could see that the red rod, five of these make up the whole. So it equals one fifth equals one fifth. Well, we also know that this one fifth, three of them make up the dark green rod. So this one fifth or this six tenths could easily or also equal three fifths. And so this is another way to model equivalent fractions with your Cuisinaire rods or number rods with this app. Now I'm going to clear everything, clear all, take my pen off, clear all here. 
And another exploration that you can do with these Cuisinaire rods or number rods with relation to modeling fractions is that you can say the yellow rod, we can say the yellow is one half orange. So using variables, if you will, and equations, we can say that y equals one half o. And you can have students explore this concept of one rod being half of another to find out what are your other one half relationships. Well, we have our brown rod, and then we have our purple rod, and we know that the purple is one half the brown. So we write another that P equals one half brown. Now, of course, there's a brown one, there's a black one, there's a blue one. So the typical notation is using the last letter of those words. So brown is going to be in. And then we can also, we can take our... Uh, let me make sure I got one here. Yeah. So we have our dark green one, and then we have our light green equals one half the dark green. Now, some people say LG for light green. Some people call that one just green, and the other one dark green. So I'll go with the more traditional, which is going to be the green. The smaller one is one half the dark green, so DG. So light green or green is one half the dark green. So you can find all of your one-half relationships. Now let me clear all of this. And you can clear, you clear everything else out. And you can do thirds. So we have our nine length here. So we have our three length that's going to be one-third. We have our five length here. So we have our one length here that's going to be one-fifth. So you can model a lot of the, the traditional standard fractions of one-half, one-third, one-fifth, one-sixth. You can all go up to one-tenth. Well, what if you wanted to go higher than one tenth? What if you wanted to re or you wanted to change your whole? Well, let's say that this here is your whole. If that equals your whole, the whole two orange ones together, then your white one would equal one twentieth which is very, very exciting to do fractions with larger denominators. It's all about defining the whole. If this again, if the double orange equals one, then we can have our red one, which is there are going to be 10 of the red rods that fit in here because five go into one of the orange rods. So therefore, the red one here is going to be one tenth. Very exciting. Of course, maybe I am too enthusiastic about it, but oh well, I like mathematics. And so you use these, you use these rods, these, these number rods or Cuisinaire rods or integer rods or fraction rods, whatever you call it, and you can model fractions of various things. It's all about defining the whole. Once you define the whole, then you can give values to the other rods, and that explores the concept behind fractions, and it allows students to visually see it, to touch it, to feel it. And if it could be a scratch and sniff iPad, it would be to smell it. But the idea is that you get students engaged in the learning and this app itself uh, can do that along with the manipulative. They can have manipulatives in front of them. They can have iPads or, or some type of device in front of them that allows them to electronically manipulate or by hand manipulate. But the idea is to engage in this technology can certainly help in that endeavor. Uh, so. Again, I'm Professor Lamb, and I appreciate you watching this video. This is PyPad Mathematics.